Oh, man, uh, we've been working so hard for this. We really have since day one, and uh, I keep saying it over and over, but if you look back on Ring of Honor's history, there was never a women's division or a women's championship. There wasn't. There was a lot of women's wrestling like Daisy Hayes and Mischief and Sarah Del Rey every now and then, but there was never a division that was solid and something to compete for as far as a Women of Honor championship. Uh, for me, when I first started training, I fell in love with Ring of Honor as a brand and the company. But I didn't understand why there wasn't any women here. Um, and my number one dream and vision and goal while training was to create a women's division inside ROH and to be the first ever Women of Honor champion and just have that. Um, and I worked hard until we got it. And one day I just asked for a match and I got it and it went viral on the internet and we kept having more matches. Ring of Honor as a brand is known for elite wrestling. We are known for professional wrestling. We are athletes. We give it our all. We are the best out there. Um, and that's what we focus on. So if you want to see the best wrestling in the world, if you want to become a lover of professional wrestling, you need to come to Ring of Honor. And if you're not a fan, become a fan, because I promise if you see a show live, you will be a fan for life. So if you're not here, why aren't you here? Where are you? Where are you? To end this interview, want to send a message to all the fans in Puerto Rico that are watching you right now. Oh, hey. <laughs> I am... Puerto Rican on myself, so how you doing? <laughs> Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much. I love you guys. <laughs>